Joining us now exclusively is WNBA All-Star and President of the Players Association, Neka Ogumake. Thank you. I know that we're limited as to what we can say, but can you just give us a sense of the mood amongst your fellow WNBA players about the detainment? Sure. No, thank you so much for having me. And I, as you as you mentioned, you know, this is it's tough. Um, BG is us. We are BG. You know, that could have been us. Um, we're really most concerned about her health and safety, especially her mental health. Uh, we're hearing that she's in that respect. She's OK. But, you know, we want we want her home. As we heard in today's piece, the commissioner is saying top priority, her yes. safe return. And um, former WNBA great Lisa Leslie recently stated that the word among the Women's Basketball League is that they want the players, they should not make a, quote, big fuss over the detainment for fear that BG, as you referred to her, could be used as a pawn. Why is it that you want to speak out right now? Yes, yeah, certainly. You know, I mean, I, I would say um, to be more clear about that, uh, you know, you know us, Robin, we move intentionally. And given the nature of Britney's situation, when it happened, it was very important for us to be intentional about doing the best thing to ensure that we don't compromise her coming home. And so a lot of that had to do with educating ourselves about the, you know, the details of what was going on as much as we could know, but then understanding how important it was for us to be strategic about when and how we speak about her. All that being said, a lot in the public, they say, if this were an NBA star like Britney, that it would be daily news. Do you think a gender issue is at play here? I mean, when is it not? You know, um, you advocate for us so many, in so many respects. You know, it, it's, it's disappointing that the question of, you know, be it being a gender issue is top of mind now when it comes to this type of circumstance. But the reality is, is, you know, she's over there because of a gender issue, pay inequity. Um, I played in Russia for four years. I played in Poland for one year. I played in China for two years. We go over there to supplement our incomes. And quite frankly, we go over there um, to maintain our game. You know, our, our teams encourage us to keep up with our game by going over there and being more competitive. So there's so much that's at play that, you know, we live politically, intrinsic, yeah. intrinsically. And I'm glad you brought up about the pay difference because over in Russia and top players can make upwards of a million dollars. Uh, yeah. And the top base salary in the WNBA is $228,000. You played in Russia. What was it like? I, you know, I had a good experience in Russia. Um, I think that obviously the circumstances are very different. Yes. Um, I, I had been playing in China shortly after Russia. But it's, it, we don't want to play 12, 12 months out of the year. Um, we want to play over here. Um, we're treated well. I mean, that's, that is the truth. But we don't want to feel as though we have to go over there to get what we want to get mm -hmm. at home. Yeah. Yeah. And you all are so strong together. The draft was great last was night. Amazing. I know and I'm very excited about the expectations going forward. And also, uh, Brittany's team, Phoenix Mercury, they are going to continue a program that she launched many years ago, th yes. those people who are experiencing homelessness, helping them. And the whole league is going to be involved with that. Can you tell us more? Absolutely. You know, we're going to continue to uplift um, BG's community engagement. She started BG's Heart and Soul. She was giving uh, those affected by homelessness in Phoenix shoes out of her car. And so we're going to continue to uplift that um, in true BG fashion. Um, she's our sister. And as a league, we do everything together. We mobilize and energize each other. Mm -hmm. And so for us to be able to do that until she gets back, um, you know, that's top priority for us. We have to continue to, to be one and move as one. And thank you for being here this morning, NECA. It means a lot. It means a lot. We're thinking of all the families who have loved ones who are detained there in Russia. All right. Thank you so You take much. care. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.